With coal piling up, we've learned of a dramatic spike in coal shipments to one Bay Area port. Good evening, I'm Elizabeth Cook. And I'm Alan Martin. People in Richmond have been complaining about more coal trains rumbling through their neighborhood. We got a hold of numbers that show a large increase in coal exports at the Port of Richmond. It comes after Oakland successfully blocked a coal terminal. So is Richmond getting Oakland's coal? KPI XY's Andrea Borba went looking for answers. Andrea? Well, Alan, Liz, you can see that large pile of coal behind me here at the port. We had been hearing anecdotally that people here in Richmond were hearing more coal trains and seeing more coal here. Well, we now have numbers from the U.S. Census Bureau that seem to confirm that. This is the view of the leavened Richmond port from Sky Drone 5. Coal piled up, visible to the naked eye. Data from the U.S. Census Bureau, which tracks trade, shows in 2015 the port exported 453,000 metric tons of coal. That dropped to 120,000 metric tons in 2016. But last year, exports skyrocketed to more than 1 million metric tons, mainly headed to overseas markets in Asia. I haven't been informed of it. I, I had always assumed that it was about the same. The port told us last week coal exports have been about the same. But when we told spokesman Jim Holland about the Census Bureau numbers, he said he made, quote, an honest mistake. He has refused multiple times to give an on-camera interview. I've heard a couple of people postulate that perhaps the coal that would have gone to Oakland is now going to Richmond. Uh, I don't I don't know that that's true. What the port did confirm was that the increased numbers are coming from mines in Utah and Colorado owned by the same company partnering with Phil Tagami in Oakland who tried and failed to build a coal shipping port there. The real question is what kind of health and environmental impact does it have? And uh, that's a tough question. I, I think there's a lot of assumptions that that it that there's a lot of coal dust floating around and that may in fact be the case. Julia Walsh is a retired public health professor at Cal. She says Richmond and western Contra Costa counties have increased rates of asthma and more coal will only exacerbate that. That is appalling. Yes, I knew it had in, uh, substantially increased and uh, when you have these coal trains coming through, they produce a tremendous amount of dust. Now, just in the past few hours, the port here has provided their own numbers, saying the census numbers are not correct. What those port numbers show also is a significant spike in coal deliveries here to the port in Richmond. Now, because this port is privately owned, the city of Richmond cannot do anything to stop or halt or slow the deliveries of coal to this port. That is federally regulated. Live in Richmond, Andrea Borba, KPIX 5.